racket of death. I don't think you people quite understand. This is the tennis racket of death. The appropriate response from the audience is Ooh. That's pretty good. Let's try it together. The tennis racket of death. Ooh. That's good. That's pretty good. You guys are really good. You guys are okay. You guys are rubbish. <laughs> try it. Try it. Try it. Lift your efforts a little bit. Alright. Now as well as this, for the finale of the show, I'm going to be taking this. An ordinary, everyday household sword. Traditionally used for such activities as opening excessively large envelopes and spreading vast quantities of butter. However, tonight I should not be using it for either of those activities. This evening I will kill a small child of your choice. <laughs> I'm joking. It's not going to be a child of your choice. <laughs> Folks, for the finale of the show tonight, I swim all the way from Penguin, Tasmania. We'll demonstrate for you lovely people the ancient and perilous art of sword swallowing. Sorry, I should have explained the noise the sword swallowing is ah. ah. So the two noises are. Ah. And that, my friends, is how cults start. <laughs> Folks, I will squeeze my body through this tennis racket. I will swallow this sword. You want to see it? Give me some energy. Give me a big yeah. yeah. Right, now you're probably wondering, how on earth? I am going to squeeze my body through such a tight space. Maybe you're not wondering that. Either way, I'm going to tell you how. It involves removing some restrictive clothing. Please control yourselves. <laughs> Don't just say everyone's doing an excellent job of controlling themselves. <laughs> Folks, I will be squeezing my body through this tennis racket using my natural skills of hypermobility. Like I said, I'm a natural contortionist. Born upside down and tied in a knot with the capacity to sublax and even voluntarily dislocate almost my entire skeletal structure. You want to see something amazing? Say yeah! Yeah! Something incredible? Say yeah! Yeah! You just want to see something you don't really care what it is? Say yeah! Yeah! And that's my kind of crowd. People with low expectations. <laughs> Incidentally, it's also my preferred type of sexual partner. All right. Now, folks, something remarkable, something amazing, something I guarantee you'll all remember for the rest of your lives. That's not it, by the way. <laughs> not remarkable or amazing. If you remember it for the rest of your life, it's for the wrong reason. <laughs> All right. Both legs simultaneously over both shoulders looks like this. Now, I've done this show for about 18 years in 30 countries on four continents, and I've only been arrested 22 times. But I've found in all that time that people are fascinated by my unusual appearance and even more fascinated by my unusual abilities. But no one ever really knows how to react until I do stuff like this. Oh! People always react the same way to that one and to this one too. Oh! And to this one. Sometimes it takes a while for people to figure it out. That's great, thank you very much. Someone's got to be the first lemming off the cliff. All right, take this a little bit further. Now you guys got the best seats in the house over there, haven't you? All right, the right leg all the way across. The left shoulder. Now feel free to stare awkwardly, but if you see me do something you can't do, you bloody clap, all right? Thanks very much. All right, let's take this a little bit further. The left leg. Left leg behind the head looks like this. <laughs> left leg behind the head. By the way, I prefer to people looking in the eye at this point rather than here if it's all the same to you. <laughs> Enjoy the spectacle, just be respectful, that's all I ask. The left leg behind the head looks like this. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now when I stand up, I said when I stand up, I'm just saying who's paying attention. No one really gives a shit, do they? <laughs> Kids, that's a bad word. Don't say the word shit loudly in public, all right? What's the word you're not allowed to shout loudly in public, kid? <laughs> all right, now, folks. When I stand up for your entertainment pleasure and general voyeurish gratification, I squid all the way from Penguin, Tasmania. I'm going to hop around a bit. That's right. That means by the end of this show, not only are you going to witness me squeeze my entire body through the frame of the tennis racket of death. And perilous art of sword swallowing. Ah. You're also going to see me hop around a bit. Yeah, I want your friends to be jealous. Now, of course, the danger here is that I could lose my footing, fall forward, and smash my face on the asphalt. Who wants to see that? Yeah.
people are sick, you know that? All right, now believe it or not, some of the things I do in this show are very difficult. And I think you'll agree, this is one of the better feats of strength, balance, and flexibility you're likely to see in your life. Thanks very much. All right. Quick impression, quick impression, quick impression. <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> or if you're American, it's Thanksgiving dinner. Or just how Americans see the rest of the world. All right, taking this a little bit further. The right leg, all the way behind the head. By the way, this is an interactive show. We'll put the way back. That's lovely. All right. This here is my favourite position. Incidentally, it's also my boyfriend's favourite position. <laughs> Now I know exactly what you're all wondering. I'm going to satisfy your curiosity once and for all. I know what you're all wondering. The answer is yes, and it's fantastic. Thank you very much. I survived lockdown just fine, folks. And you worry about old squid. Now, folks, I'm going to attempt to squeeze my entire body through the frame of the tennis racket of death. And then for the finale of the show, I will demonstrate the ancient and perilous art of sword swallowing. I'm going to keep doing this until someone has an orgasm. Can I just say you all gave up before I did? I'm disappointed, Hobart. But you can earn my forgiveness. Alright. Folks, squeezing through the tennis racket requires removing a little bit more restrictive clothing. Please control yourselves as I remove the restrictive clothing. <laughs> Have you got a backstage pass? <laughs> Alright, All right, now I do need to pull this down a bit. It's alright, this is as far as it goes. That's enough out of you, alright. I'm a human being! Alright, now folks. Now folks, you've seen how bendy I am in my legs. I'm not going to show you how bendy I am in my arms. I'm going to place my left arm vertically in the air. I'm going to grip it very tightly. I'm going to time it very hard. Something I've been practicing every day since I was about 13 years old is grabbing parts of my anatomy tightly and tugging them very hard in the hope that one Sunday evening I can come out and entertain families with this special talent. So uh, thanks for helping me live my dreams, Hobart. You guys are wonderful. All right. The left arm will be momentarily displaced from its socket. Do not be alarmed. Although this is going to look excruciatingly painful, it is in fact only slightly painful. But I must warn you, if you are easily shocked, or naturally of a nervous disposition, please watch very closely, okay? I'm just gonna pick this wedgie first. Sorry about Showbiz is all class, kids. Alright. Here we go. Quick little warm up. Thanks a lot. I know. With my stuff, you're not really sure whether to clap or scream, are you? Alright, here we go. Dislocating the left shoulder. There's no going back at this point. Neither for me physically or you psychologically. So let's just work through it together as a community. It'll bring us closest together, okay? Alright, check it out. By the way, this is an interactive show. Feel free to wait back. Okay, it's lovely. It's a two-way thing. It's live. Look. Ouch. Check it out. Check it out! Check it out! It's me, 
36 years ago. <laughs> Simon says, Simon says put your hands in the air, Simon says wave them around, Simon says put them your eyes for a little while. <laughs> but they just do this to make it easier. But if I do it too much it just makes it harder. Oh come on that's piss funny. <laughs> Alright, so far you see my bendy arms and legs. Check out my stretchy skin. <laughs> and even more so on my torso. <laughs> on a good day, I can go windsurfing. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this is the bit of the show where people usually go, wow! wow. Oh, thanks everyone, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I'm glad you appear to be with me as a community, though. That's great. Alright. The bit where everyone goes, wow! Not yet, in a minute. Thanks though, mate, you're great, alright. In a minute, I know you're ready, mate. Alright, here we go. The bit where everyone goes, wow! Shut up, not yet! Sorry, I'm, I'm angry about other things in my life, it's nothing to do with you, alright. Alright, here we go. The bit where everyone goes, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it because I'm confusing the children. The last thing that I wanted to do when I came out here this evening was confuse children. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'll just do it. Here we go. <laughs> Whatever you're on, can you share it with everyone else, please? Alright, here we go. Oh, you'll love this. You'll love this. Exterminate! Exterminate! Get this right. When I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to watch Doctor Who. Because my folks reckoned it would mess me up in the head. <laughs> I watched it for years secretly. How wrong were they? Right, this is the bit of the show where I removed the belt. This is the bit of the show where I removed the belt. No, <laughs> I know some people want that, but they're severely outvoted. And recent events have restored my faith in democracy. All right, now I just want to apologize to you lot over here for the view you're about to receive. Really sorry about this. Sorry, really sorry about this. Sorry. Sorry. Look, I warned you and you're all still looking, so whatever. No longer my freaking problem. I've discharged my social responsibility, guys. Look, I know you feel like you've got a rough trot visually there, but life's all about perspective. And it's important to remember there's always someone who has things worse than you. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah. You want to cope with this psychologically, just imagine it's a bad case of hemorrhoids. You'll be all right. All right, now, folks, I've got about as far as I can I've got about as far as I can on my own. I just need to borrow him for a moment. Is that okay with you? Alright. What's your name, mate? Bo. Bo, wait there, Bo. I'm going to give you a big introduction and everyone's going to go crazy for you. Do you know why? Every single one of these people is thinking, geez, I'm glad that bastard didn't pick me. <laughs> so with that in mind, Bo, when you come out here, everyone is going to go absolutely crazy. This guy's going to pick his kid up, throw him in the air. We did catch him since last, like, the one with the last kid. That was messy, man. Catch him this time. Alright. My insurance has gone up since then too, all right, all right. <laughs> Folks, please welcome, all the way from over there. Where have you come from today, Bo? Uh, Hobart. All the way from Hobart. <laughs> you could have made something up, dude. <laughs> Folks, all the way from Hobart. <laughs> the brave, is he brave? Yeah, okay. The strong, is he strong? Okay, the sexually competent. Yeah, great. The last two were very enthusiastic. Okay. Strong and sexually competent will work on the bravery. Alright. Here we go. The brave, the strong, the sexually competent, the one and only Bo! Alright, now Bo, I need your help with two things today. Firstly, I'm going to need your help me get out of the tennis racket. Secondly, for the finale of this show, I'm going to be taking this sword, 55 centimetres in length. It's going to go down my throat, past my gag reflex, past my retro reflex, and into the opening of my stomach. I'm then going to lean forward with the sword inside me and take a bow. 
I'm then going to stand back up again and withdraw the blade vertically the same way it came in. Now this is a life-threatening stunt. One mistake could result in my death. It's alright Bo, you're not in that bit. But I do need your help to prove that this is a real sword. And by the time you and I are finished, there's not going to be any doubt in anyone's mind that this is a real sword. Especially yours Bo. Alright, but we'll get to that in a moment. First Bo, I need you to help me get out of the racket. Now, if you can just stand on that rug and face me and put both hands one on top of the other, perfect. Nice tight grip, like you're at home. <laughs> well, you're lucky, Bo. You're lucky too. All right. All right. Now, Bo, I just need, I just need you to go up and down. Okay? Just up and down. None of this shit. None of this shit either. Okay? Good, Bo. Bad, Bo. Very bad, Bo. Okay? And you, Lord, give him some support. It could have been you. And when Bo goes up, you lot all yell out, up! I have very clear instructions, okay? When Bo goes up, you lot all yell out, up! When Bo goes down, Bo goes down. Does Bo go down? If it's not a personal question. Oh, well that answered that, okay. When Bo goes down, you all yell out, down! Yeah. Alright, now Bo is going to leave me out of this tennis racket and then I'm going to swallow that sword. You want to see Bo get me out of the tennis racket and then see me swallow that sword? Give me some energy. Give me a big... Yeah! yeah. That's screaming terror. Yeah. Cool, that's how I know you're with me. Alright, All right, up and down with Bo. Everybody, don't let him down. He needs your support, people. Here we go. Up and down with Bo. Come on! Up and down, up and down, up and down. Stop either! Come on, harder! Harder, faster! We're nearly there, Bo! We're nearly there! And the tennis racket's nearly off too! When it comes off, hold it high in the air, mate! Hold it! Now, Bo, we're gonna prove this is a real sword before I swallow it. You stand on that blood stain. And you face that way, please, Bo. Alright, now we're gonna count down to three, two, one. When we get to one, we'll have proven this is a real sword using Bo. <laughs> Bo, Bo, I need you to face the front at all times, please, Bo. Okay, okay. Bo, 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 Bo. I need you to face the front at all times, please, Bo. Bo, 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 Bo. You'd be amazed the mileage we can get out of this joke, Bo. <laughs> all right. We're going to count down from three, two, one. When we get to one, we'll prove this is a real sword using bow, and then I will swallow it. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, here we go. Everybody, let's count down! Three! Okay, when I say everybody, I mean everybody. Not just the kids and the drunk people, okay? Everybody. Not just the drunk kids, okay? Everybody, let's count down! Three, two, one! amazing Bo. I've done this all over the world for the last 18 years. I've done literally thousands of these shows since I was a kid and I'm surrounded by smiling happy laughing people when I do it and that's why I love my job as a street performer so much because I get to be surrounded by smiling laughing happy people it's amazing. What's really great is at this point in the show I always get a guy to stand in the, in the middle there and I've got a sword about to stab him in the back. And not once in the thousands of shows I've done all over the world have any of these smiling, happy people ever tried to stop me. I don't know about you, Bo, but I have no faith in humanity whatsoever. No, I'm actually joking. I'm a professional street entertainer, and I've actually got a lot of faith in humanity. I have so much faith in humanity that I wait until after the show to ask for tips. Just thought I'd mention that. Lots of faith in humanity. Please make sure it's not unsubstantiated. Alright. Bo, would you examine the blade of the sword, please? You'll see it's one solid piece of metal. Yep. You'll see that it's super glued into the handle. Yep. Bo, are you completely satisfied? Yep. Folks, I give you Bo, completely satisfied without touching him. Let's give it up for Bo! 
Alright, you can go though. Thanks very much for that. Come on, really give it up a bye! Alright now folks, I meant what I said before. I'm a professional street entertainer. I'm about to perform the finale of the show. After that, I will be holding out my bag. I'm not going to undermine your intelligence. This is a busking show. You understand how it works. At the end of the show, if you like the show, you pay. If you do not like the show, you pay. <laughs> there is no reason for both of us to go home disappointed tonight. <laughs> Folks, if you're not sure how much money to tip the street performer, I can't actually tell you, that would be rude. If I was going to tell you, I'd say 50 bucks, but I won't, because that'd be rude. I know most people can't afford a 50, but I know some people can. And the reason I know that is because sometimes people do. And when that happens, that changes the course of my week. It's amazing. So if you do have 50 bucks and you want to give it to me, I wholeheartedly encourage that behaviour. If you don't have a 50, that's fine. 20 is great too. If you don't have a 20, a 10 is fine. If you honestly don't have any money and you can't afford to tip, don't feel bad. Street theatre is for everyone. It's the most accessible and honest form of entertainment there is. And if you honestly can't afford to tip me, that's fine. Because I love my work. I love being surrounded by smiling, happy people. And I love being around, surrounded by smiling, laughing people. So if you don't have any money, then your smiles and your laughter are... Yeah. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, if all you can afford is a thank you, that's fine. If you're too shy to do that, I understand too. I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. My name's Samora Squid. I also understand that this is the year 2022 and a lot of people don't carry cash. Oh. <laughs> and that's what that's for. That's a QR code, you can come and pay me with your phone. If that's too complicated for all of you boomers, I also have this square reader. You can pay me with your card. So basically I've saved you all a trip to the ATM. Yeah, you're welcome. If you tip me using those, the tax department know all about it. Bastards. Um, that's all I'm going to say about money. I know it makes a few people uncomfortable when I mention it, but I did an experiment once. I got a crowd just like this. Everyone had a great time, and I deliberately made a point of not asking for money. And guess what? I didn't get any. Won't be making that mistake again. Now, folks, I will say this. I've been for street performing for 18 years. During the COVID shutdowns and stuff, I couldn't work for two years. But I'm back. And we're back, and we're standing around outside in a circle, laughing and smiling together. How great is this? This is awesome. I love it. Are you ready to see me swallow this sword? Say yeah! Yeah! Are you ready to see an incredible feat of human dexterity and physical skill? Say yeah! Yeah! Are you just hanging around to see if I die? Yeah! You bastards! <laughs> Alright. Now people often ask me, they say, hey Squid, is the sword sharp? I normally have a cucumber to prove the point, but I've only got a little bit of one. Oh. That's right, folks. What you see is what you get. Live sword swallowing. People always ask me if sword swallowing is dangerous, which I think is a pretty dumb question, but sure, okay. Sword swallowing is incredibly dangerous. You saw the way it slices a cucumber? So there's an obvious danger there. But the less obvious danger is microscopic bacteria and germs, which we've all learned a lot more about in the last couple of years, haven't we? So I'm placing pure alcohol on the blade of the sword. I don't drink, I'm a non-drinker. This is the only alcohol, I'm like that guy. <laughs> this is the only alcohol I ever ingest. This is the only alcohol I ever ingest. And this is my 16th show today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you hungry? <laughs> Just a look. Yeah, it's weird facing the opposite direction to everyone else, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now, folks, I've got to let the alcohol evaporate because otherwise it will give me alcohol poisoning. Guess how I found that out? All right. Now, folks, what you're about to see is me open up my gag reflex, my retroflex, and the epiglottis, the opening to the stomach. 
I'm going to open three separate speakers. I'm going to do my best to keep the fourth one shut. Do you mind holding on to him while I do this? Yeah, thanks very much. Thanks so much, mate. I appreciate it. That's someone running into me while I'm swallowing this morning. <laughs> I mean, if he, if he gets hurt, you can always sue me. And look at all the great stuff you'll get. <laughs> Alright. Now, folks, now that the alcohol has evaporated, I'm going to lubricate the blade using my tongue. So let's recap. You've seen me bend my body into pretzel-like shapes on this rug, performing feats of contortion. You've seen me squeeze my body through that tennis racket. You're about to see me swallow this sword, and you're witnessing my bifurcated tongue. Folks, tonight, you saw something you didn't know you were going to see, and that is a genuine Tasmanian sideshow freak. <laughs> I'm going to finish off the show by swallowing this sword. I'm going to say one last thing about money. You put a 10 or a 20 towards my show, I go home happy. You put a 50 or a 100 towards my show, I go home ecstatic. If you put upwards of 500 bucks towards my show, I go home with you. Right, here we go. My name's Squid. This is the finale of the show. I know, kid. I know. I know exactly how you feel. You know exactly how you feel. But there's no one to wipe my ass, okay? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Live sword swallowing, folks. Okay, last little preparation. <clears throat> Not necessary. But I made that kid laugh, so there you go. <laughs> folks, another happy child. Alright, live sword swallowing, folks. If you want to see me on TV, can you write to them and tell them who I am, please? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Live sword swallowing, finale of the show.